So, when you talk about infrastructure, you say it's important for the president to have a chance to speak directly to the American people. Why doesn't he want to speak directly to the American people now that some big cities are bracing potentially this weekend for riots? So he put out a statement yesterday, um, and I think when a statement comes from the president of the United States, it has a powerful impact. Uh, and he was very clear in that statement. He offered his condolences to the family of Ty Tyree Nichols. He also joined the family in calling for peaceful protests. That is an important uh, statement that the president could make. Uh, and uh, you have me here reiterating what the president has said, and we're going to continue to do that. It's not the first time I've laid out the Dobbs decision uh, was, a, was a time where we were calling uh, for peaceful protest, and there's been other times uh, even before then. So, and, and let's not forget Election Day, uh, where we did the same. So. I think the president's words really matter. They have weight, and it's important that we, the, the American people heard from him uh, directly. Okay, on the documents, have any more classified documents been located in any places associated with President Biden? I would refer you to the White House Counsel's Office. Okay, and why do White House officials insist that the president self-reported the classified materials if his lawyers initially called the White House and not the Justice Department? I would refer you to the White House Counsel. But we heard from this podium the other day that President Biden uh, self-reported the materials. That's not what, exactly what happened. Um, who did you hear that from? John Kirby. Well, I would refer you to the White House counsel. Go ahead. Thank you.